So I stayed with my mother and um, stayed with my mother. Most people don't know that we got different moms. So um, me and Messiah got the same mom. Messiah's my older brother. Now, so, the, now the way that y'all that y'all grew up, um, do y'all feel like y'all grew up like from the hood? It, it turned out to be a good balance, mm -hmm. but I wasn't looking at it like that at the time. But um, so you could imagine uh, going from this type of situation, which wasn't like bad. Like I, I didn't look around and be like, man, we need to. This is crazy. I wasn't like that. Yeah. But it's just like when you see something else that's uh, just like totally opposite of that. It's like it make you you you, you make you feel weird. Mm. What do you What do you mean by that? Like I'm thinking about, dang, how does my mom feel? Mm. Like going on trips and stuff And she's at the house King feels a certain type of way of like Okay y'all think of of us Pertaining to you and him A certain way because of the TV show But this is what's really Was going on that you know That the public doesn't know I think King the way, I think everything King is trying to say Is just coming off um, He's using the wrong words I feel like and I mm -hmm. told him this I feel like what he's trying to say is um uh, Word with me, here you know BT, no how it go, shout out OCT, no rug cap, call out what we see. Whole game ready, ball of blitz on three. No, you can't stand on it on two feet. I already know you can't ball with me. Cause I brought up with the squad of me. They get a letter, they call me. Ball alert. Ball alert. Ball alert. Ball Alert, welcome to the Ball Alert Show podcast Available everywhere you get your podcast. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share our YouTube page At Ball Alert TV I go by the name of Ferrari Simmons I go by the name, you know BT OCT, where that? Damani in the building! Hey. Hey. Got them nails manicured, they For shiny sure. What's For up, sure. sir? I'm, hi, I'm good, how are you? Man, I'm great, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan, man uh, Thank you I was telling uh, my co-host, my, aka my friends uh, I was just driving one day, and of course I knew you did music, but, and I saw that you did music. I was driving, listening to Cyrus XM, and I was like, damn, this song hard as fuck. I said, I looked down, I said, damn, this shit is the money. Whoa. Downloaded it, added it to my playlist. Been a fan ever since. Man, I love that, man. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, for real. You ready up? Yeah, let's take it back to the beginning, Damani. Um, okay. You know, this is your first time on the platform on Ball Alert. Uh, you know, can you take us back to, you know, how Damani grew up, the makings of who you are now? We seen you grow up on TV, but you know, that's the production aspect of it, you know, but you you, you mentioned Riverdale many times you in your I, I hear it, I hear it <laughs> throughout all most of your albums. Um, so let us know about the Dale a little bit. So I stayed with my mother and um stayed with my mother. Most people don't know that we got different moms. So, um, me and Messiah got the same mom. Messiah's my older brother. Uh, so, boom, we both we both lived with her. And uh, we did stay in Riverdale for a while. Um, I didn't know that. You didn't know that? I didn't know that. I didn't know, I didn't know, know you and Messiah had the same mom. I told yeah. you. I she, was, yeah, yeah, she did yeah, tell yeah, us that. Ak yeah. was telling us that. It, it turned out to be a good balance. Mm. But... I wasn't looking at it like that at the time, but um, so you could imagine uh, going from this type of situation, which wasn't like bad. Like I, I didn't look around and be like, man, we need to, this is crazy. I wasn't like that. Yeah. But it's just like when you see something else that's uh, just like totally opposite of that, it's like it make you, 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 you make you feel weird. Mm. What do you, what do you mean by that? Like your dad, like your dad's right. living arrangements, and then you're right. And it's not like a um, like a bad thing. It's just like I'm thinking about, dang, how does my mom feel? Mm. Like going on trips and stuff, and she's at the house, and uh, going over here, uh, we we come back with clothes, toys, uh, just whatever we ask for, for real. And uh, that's it. That's just wondering how she feel, but. She's That's very thoughtful of you to right. feel that way too. Mm -hmm. Most kids sure. would be like, "Man, hey, I'm good, I'm lit." And everybody be like, "I'm going to my daddy's house." That's that For Pisces, sure. that water sign. You, you feel? Pisces? No, I'm a Cancer though. Oh, uh, what's that? Huh? 
What y'all be doing? Crying? No. <laughs> but you, can, you, you feel the emotions. You know what I'm saying? You feel for your family. My brother's yeah. a Pisces, so you oh, know yeah, yeah. He, he has a lot of emotions. And y'all are the most emotional sign of the whole show. Sure, but we try to act like we not. Though. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. For but, sure. you know, were you her only kids, you and Messiah, or did yeah, she have others? we were, but at, at the time we was, but now we got a um, sister. Okay. She, so she got another one. So, you know, when you came back from, you know, living such a lavish life, like you said, going on trips and then you have to adjust to go back home. Was it kind of hard not to be like braggadocious or, you know, to your friends? Because I know they're looking at you. Yeah. So I probably started off being braggadocious because I didn't understand it just yet. But then I realized, man, it's not that's not cool coming back, telling everybody all this. good. So I started keeping it to myself. So. Mm. You know how to, you might come back from a, uh, from spring break or holiday break and the teacher tell everybody what you did over holiday. Mm-hmm. I just started just uh, keeping it simple. Mm-hmm. Just was chilling. But when they so, saw you on TV. That's when it took it to another level. And what, so, what, what grade or what year was this for you? TV. I think it might have been fifth grade. Wow. Damn. That's a lot to handle in fifth grade, man. Yeah. I couldn't even imagine being on TV in the fifth grade and then coming back to school. How was that first experience when you first got on TV, going back into school, going to the fifth grade? Of course, everybody see you on TV, but I was already cool. Like I, I started. Um, I've been going to the same school since well, now fourth grade actually. Mm-hmm. So that was a shock to people, but they kind of grew with me. It's mm-hmm. like I didn't. Um, I didn't pretty much switch schools after that. So all my friends was already my friends. Uh. It's just um, and everybody already knew Ti was your dad, obviously. Right? They had a some people knew, okay, but the TV definitely. That was like, oh, that's his daddy for real, for sure. And I just <laughs> seen you last night, yeah. <laughs> so, but it give, did it give you cool points that a lot of people want to be your friend? Probably. Okay. Did you um, like that though? Did you like? How did you feel about? Because I don't think you really had a choice. Did you? Did you have a choice? Choice? Yeah. I mean, they asked. I mean, they asked, did we want to do it? Okay. And I was like, shoot, yeah. What about Messiah? Everyone had a choice. Okay. Yeah. Didn't know that. Sure. And you're older than Messiah, right? Messiah, Messiah is he's the oldest. Twelve months, thirteen months older than me, I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Were Were you looking to him a little bit for guidance when you were younger? Um, I w- it'd be crazy if I said I would. I didn't. I think I think I did for sure. That's my older brother. I mean, I look at I try to learn from everybody. I look at my younger siblings too for guidance too. Cause they'll mess around and say something too. So mm. you're just soaking it all up. Exactly. So, mm. but I definitely did look look to him uh, for guidance. Well, you know, in your first project, I believe um, you mentioned being a rapper and you know helping your mom live a better life. For sure. Um, can you expound on that a little bit? A better life. I just wanted to match. Just wanted to match it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So. When we go on a trip here, we can go on a trip here. Mm-hmm. So that's just what, like I said, I was just thinking about how she may have felt because we didn't really have that conversation. And I turned to my music. I really just had that conversation in my music. But um, after, I guess as she heard the music, she had to let me know because she didn't know I was thinking like that. She was like, yeah, I, I, I don't be thinking like that, the money. and <laughs> So... But yeah, it's just that. It's just that. It's just making sure um, that it's the same thing that we do over here, that we're able to do it over here, too. Um, now, you said in the music, when is when did you start playing around with music? Nine years old. Okay. Nine years old. Pops was locked up. It was at the grandma's house. Um, my cousins was in the studio. So my cousins kind of took over the studio at my grandma's house. And I was just around in the basement just playing and then one day I just sat in the studio and they was playing some beats. And then I just told my cousin, I said, I want to do something. And they all just looked at me and they're like, what you talking about? Mm-hmm. I want to do some music. And that's <laughs> how I started. And, when, uh, when did you start taking it really seriously, though? Probably 14, 15. Now, you really be you really be into your vibe. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I hear a little J. Cole. Is J. Cole one of your favorite rappers? J. Cole, Jay-Z, Andre, uh, my father... Um, Wayne, but yeah, 
You got a you got a lot of favorites. For what sure. do you feel like when people you know compare you to J Cole or say, "Man, he sounds just like J Cole." I think that's the introduction to. That's how everyone basically says, "I this is something new and I like it." Um, like when you eat some food and you like it, but oh, this tastes like woot de woot. So you take it as a compliment. Take it as a compliment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you ever had a conversation with J Cole or? Not about that, but we was at a camp. We was at a camp recently, actually for his album, and somebody was looking for me. I was there. Somebody was looking for me and thought I was him. He said, the money. He turned around. He said, nah, it's me. Hey. Oh. <laughs> I like that. I mean, yeah, you go got the dreads. Uh-huh. For sure. What, what, what made you decide to grow dreads? Locks. Mm, Locks. That's a good catch, too. Um, I was just in class just twisting my hair. I had a fro at first and I was just in class twisting my hair and I just left it. <laughs> that simple. That's it. There I was no, no nothing there was no, behind it. No parting, no getting done. None. Of, I didn't sit down in no chair. I was in class probably not paying attention to doing this. And it just stayed. Well, you done inspired your daddy to look like because he got right. the dress. Oh, now. He yeah. was the one talking about it. Oh, uh, he was? He was the main one talking about it. He didn't what, like what was, it at what first? was he saying when you, uh, when you got locks? He was just, because you know, you got to go through that phase. Yeah. You got to go through the uh-huh. crazy Awkward looking, looking phase. Yeah. Yeah. Where your hair don't know whether to drop or stay up. Or <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> in, it's like a, yeah. Right, all over the place. So, so um, he was talking about it at first because it's kind of crazy. I've gone through that phase and he don't understand it. Um, but he trying to, sk- yeah, he growing locks now. <laughs> yeah. 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 It, it, it's kind of like the crazy hair phase. That's what yeah. that's what I tell people. I said that's the, that's really when you gonna test yourself if you really think you got good self esteem. When you For go sure. through that phase where you like your hair, you know you can't just comb it down no For more. Sure. You know what I'm saying? It's you like can't being put- a kid and going through an awkward stage. For sure, mm-hmm. and you gotta just just commit. You mm-hmm. gotta lock in. Yeah. For sure. So you speak a lot in your previous albums about going to college. Why did you choose not to do that? I already had a team. I already had a uh, music was my main focus and I knew one I knew if I went to college I wasn't gonna want to do the work I was just gonna figure out a way to get around doing the work and have someone else do it for me uh two but I did want to go for the experience though I wanted to go for the experience just to be around people I guess all working towards the same goal I guess that's always good Mm -hmm. but I already had a team I already had this music thing going and I'm like man and I had like a tour opportunity so I'm like, I'm either go to college or either go on the tour. I chose the tour. I chose music. So, and that was only because it's like, my team really been waiting on me to get out of high school too. Mm-hmm. Because um, we never really, we couldn't really do nothing like uh, until the weekends. We couldn't travel until the weekends, the mm-hmm. studio until the weekends. So it was like, yeah, we finna do this full, full force now that we just graduated. So I just chose music. How did your parents feel about that choice? They didn't care. They didn't care. They wanted um, they just wanted me to do something. Mm-hmm. You know, you just want your kids to do something. Right. Um, have a plan. Um, just really be uh, put one hundred and ten percent into it. And they seen that it was. They seen that I was serious. And I guess they they always let me rock because everything I did, I was. They seen it. I had like a look in my eyes. I was just so serious about it. Even like some weird stuff. Mm-hmm. And they just they just always let me rock. Mm. Um. Now I know we're talking about all this stuff, but how was your personal life? Did you have a girlfriend at the time, or when? At any point? Any point? Yeah, high I'm school. Sure I did. Okay, so, so <laughs> how, how do you maintain both? Just conversations, I guess. Conversations, communicating, letting each other know um what we uh letting each other know how we want things, mm. and um. I think it's just all the conversation. Sounds very for, mature. Are, is Damani in a relationship now? Man, I'm good right now. <laughs> what about, yeah. uh, what does that mean? Yeah, I'm like, I don't even know what that means. You're open to whatever. No, I think no? that means he's that in a relationship. Crazy. I think I think that means he's in a relationship and they good right now. Is this, uh, <laughs> <laughs> would this be the young lady who likes Hennessy and crystals? 
Man, that song. <laughs> you on this song. What are you talking about? I'm just, <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> she definitely likes Henny and Christian. You like that song? Yeah. I love that song. That song is actually not about a specific incident, though. Mm -hmm. That song is really about um me saying that I like a girl who know how to have fun and, like, also a little spiritual and, like, She's smart at the same time. Hennessy and Crystal, that's what that means. That's what I that's what I was thinking when I made it, but mm -hmm. it turned into some uh, you know? Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. So what so is that what you look for in a woman? Like uh like yeah. you said, spiritual who ha has fun too? For sure. Mm -hmm. Um I like a well rounded person, man. Who know well, how to cook rice. You see you know, I okay <laughs> now. She she know what's going on. <laughs> Y'all not even catching it, huh? I'm catching no, it. No, I'm, ca I'm, I'm, I'm catching it. She's on point. She's always on point, though. Okay, do you have a celebrity crush, crush of any kind? I like Erica Badu. Okay. Well, I like Sade. What am I for? Okay. Sade, for sure. Yeah, really? You're, I love, like, and, and I, I'm glad you brought up Sade because I love the production. I can tell, like, from your first project up into, you know, your latest project, the, the um, growth in production. I love the saxophones and the the, the horns that, mm -hmm. that that are played softly because at first it was like you know it gave you know you had the samples going and it was really you know a lot going on but now it's kind of more laid back and chill type of thing like mm -hmm. how it, it kind of goes with your flow kind of matches that For um sure. is there was there a method to that no nah, I just think we just grow I think I just allowed myself to just I never felt like I mastered a certain sound or a certain uh thing I was doing in the studio so I always was just open to just trying new things mm -hmm. and um yeah I don't think it was planned out at all I just love instruments I love live music but at the same time I like 808s um and I just combined the two and I just ran into I ran into and like always just been around just dope musicians people who know how to play the guitar bass guitar saxophone viola all mm -hmm. type of stuff we all just sat in the studio and just kept coming back and now we just um just got a great chemistry and is that one of the advantages of having you know half of you being you know um well off in a sense as far as your what your dad provides for you is that a, an, a perk of it like being able to bring in musicians like that versus somebody without the resources to kind of you know make a beat on free loops or something versus you getting like true musicians to create a masterpiece don't down fruity loops though fruity i mean loops. i'm not but i'm just saying that's fruity all loops. some people got yeah but that's all a lot of people need to the wheezy fruity loops mm -hmm. wheezy got a ugly looking you know wheezy beats wheezy out right of here, here. Got mm -hmm. wheezy got an ugly laptop and mm -hmm. he got fruity loops and he he been on fruity loops for since he started probably mm -hmm. And Wheezy is out of here. Yeah, um, for sure. But it's hard to conduct a ma a big, massive sound through right. Fruity Loops. I know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. But I just didn't want people to get the wrong impression about Fruity Loops. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> no, shout out to Fruity Loops. Even shout though they out to your producer, yeah. too. For real? Yeah, I'm not. What I was use? never on Logic? Fruity Loops. I used to be a Reason person, a propeller okay. head. But um, I haven't really done it in a while. What but I'm not, I'm not down um well the last thing that i uh, really liked was pretty sinus studio one because mm. it allowed me to you know record live instruments or just use their stuff and right. like combine the two analog and digital in one for so, sure yeah. yeah i see what you're saying because that is difficult to do in fl mm -hmm. most people start uh start to beat in fl and then add instruments on some other stuff pro like tools pro or, tool logic. or logic yeah mm -hmm. exactly but yeah that is an advantage that is definitely an advantage um having a relationship and then just people sometimes you get genuine people and then sometimes you get people with a motive of course but um yeah y'all still end up getting something done um but yeah that's definitely an advantage for okay. sure so you got any dream collapse i know this is it's just a broad answer but i really want to genuinely work with people who genuinely want to work with me but um, if I had to say some names, it would be uh, I like Tyler, I like uh, Tyler the Creator, Tyler the Creator. But I'm talking about Tyler the. Oh, Tyler the uh, Water for sure singer. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. But Tyler the Creator too. Okay. And um, 
Cole. Cole. I definitely um, want to hear you and Cole for sure. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. I I hear him on Sleep It Off. For sure. Yeah. Uh, we get a remix or something. <laughs> he um if he stumble across it. Yeah. If he because he, I heard he's similar to you. Like if he if he genuinely likes something, he'll hop on it. He's he doesn't exactly. charge for features. For sure. Exactly. That's why we got to put this in the energy. Because because when y'all do hop on a song together. You know, it's gonna be magical. Are you yeah. your dad gonna ever? He's on um the Libra project. Mm-hmm. But what I want I, I want I want y'all to drop off a full full project. Yeah, can we get that? Could y'all we? talked about it on the stage that one time. I don't see why not. It just gotta happen. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> who got who got to convince who? And uh, we actually was... we had uh we had your T. dad yeah. and um and King on on the show mm-hmm. when he was promoting the movie and I said this to him. I was like, man, Damani's fire. I'm a big fan of Damani, man. Oh, me man. too. Mm-hmm. Me too, man. Now, did that kind of hit you left field when he started oh. doing music like that? The way that he he's recording his music? Um, nah, I mean, it didn't really hit me left field because at first it, 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 it sucked, right? Oh. <laughs> at, at the beginning, it because he wasn't talking about nothing, but like, you know what I'm saying, going to the mall and buying stuff. I said, man, you finna get beat up because don't nobody want to hear no rich kid talk about all the stuff that they can't do. And I said, you got to find ways to relate. You know, find mm-hmm. the things find the things that, that matter to you that will matter to other people, regardless of where they live, how much money they got and the stuff. Like the common you gotta you gotta find common ground. And uh he accepted the challenge. And when he came back and you know, he was kinda, you know, talking about being rich on the weekends and move and going back to the apartments to live with his mama. You know, see I was like that kind of stuff, that's mm-hmm. what that's what you need to talk about. And he just kind of, I guess, you know, through trial and error and and, and uh, taking the, the the lessons that every for every every uh, project that he dropped, cause he, he got like eight projects, and he owned them all. You know what I mean? Salute to that, smart guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah smart dad though. So so. He, has a, he has a catalog, you know what I'm saying? And so throughout that catalog, he just picked up lessons along the way, and he applied to 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 the music he's doing now. Could we get a joint project with y'all too? Oh uh, nah, they don't no. want to do no project with me. He just know that at a he know that we be feeling like he uh, we in his shadow, and we be we just be keeping that in mind. And sometimes he forget about that. He don't look at it like that. Cause you're the parent. You looking like uh, you looking like these are my kids, and this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to make life easier. We looking at it like pops. We trying to stand on our own. So, mm-hmm. Try to stand on business. <laughs> Standing on business. Standing on business. Baller alert. What's going down? This is the money. And I know you already watching, but I want to say right now, like, comment, and subscribe on the Baller Alert Show. Uh, can we talk about when the ink dries? Yeah, for sure. Uh, EP? It's, a, it's an EP, four songs. Why? Why Just only four songs? Only four songs because that's a good question because they were trying to make it five and I was so... Who's they? Your team? Team, yeah. Because you're independent. Yeah, Got it. for sure. They was trying to make it five, and I was telling everybody, no, it got to be four. But for real, why four? I don't know. I just <laughs> felt like... <laughs> I felt like... You're naturally five. funny, by the way. Thank you. I felt like five was... <laughs> He's silly. I felt like five wasn't a good number. Okay. But, um... It really was no thought for real. Just four songs, four songs that I uh, teased on the okay. on the internet with some uh, visuals to it, and people said they wanted it. Okay. So just before the holidays get crazy, I just wanted to put it out. Hmm. Now you know, let's speak on being independent. Uh, mm-hmm. What are some of the advantages that you've seen so far of being independent? Being independent advantages: you could do what you want. Mm-hmm. Disadvantages is that you could do what you want. Mm-hmm. Same thing. Mm. That's a good answer. I think it's a known it's a known play that every, that every artist uh that every artist sees. So they they mm, every artist that that take enough time to sit back and that's comfortable enough to sit back and scope the scene, they see that before I get a major label, before I before I sign a deal, I want to have leverage so I could uh make a good deal mm. or be able to negotiate. If I don't have leverage, I won't be able to negotiate a good deal. So um, I don't think people just sit and say, I want to be independent and that's it. I don't want to see no deals. 
no, I think people just want to have the leverage. That's how I feel. Okay. I want to be able to uh, show something to say, this is why I want this, because this is this is it. You see this right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're building leverage right now. For sure. Great answer. Do you have any uh, labels that have reached out to you in the past? Reached out, like, said some things, but, like, presented paperwork, that's different. So um, a lot of labels and said some stuff. But like I said, man, I'm um I'm just just doing my own thing, building leverage, um, just having fun with it for real, figuring it out as I go. Now, who taught you about the art of leveraging? Because I feel like a lot of artists don't talk about you know going in these labeled you know meetings and and having leverage. Hmm. Experience, experience, and of course my father. But just being in meetings and hearing how conversations go. Um, that I would say that taught me a lot, but I think more people, I think more people got a uh, outdated mind mindset, like thinking like uh, if I get a label deal, like I made it. Nah, that's not it. That's <laughs> it's really the beginner. <laughs> that's now, really it. I do have a question for you. How is you and your father's relationship? Wonderful. That's like my, that's my father, but that's like my best friend for real. That's dope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now the music only came from him because I see you're you're a very well rounded artist to me. Did your mom do any music? Nah, she ain't do no music. She, <laughs> she be joking, talking about okay, like she gonna do a verse or something. But nah. <laughs> so no music bones in her body. Nope. So it's just it's just from pops. From pops, uh, my sisters, okay, uh, my cousins. You know, shout out to God. Oh yeah, shout out to God. That's, that's my yeah, cousin. That's, that's the homie. He, yeah. Before before that, he was in the rich kids though. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course, of course. But um, yeah, the OMG girl, my whole family really yeah. on on that side. It's just my mom didn't do no music at all. So she Messiah wanted, don't do music at all. Before he didn't do music. No. Nah, he's doing he, it now. He just started doing music maybe like four years ago. Okay. He got his own flow, like he got his own mm -hmm. swag. Yeah, he definitely he definitely has he his own style. He about the sixties or something. For sure, yeah. yeah, yeah. He definitely out there. Yeah, okay. but the only two that don't is Major and Deja, right? Major and Deja. They don't do music. Yep, because Ayers do me. Yep, Ayers killing it right now. Mm -hmm. She can Ayers sing, my boy. Yeah. She can sing, sing. For sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, uh, all right. So you and King got a song. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, like father, father like son. Yep. What's up? What is it about? Yeah. Now, King sound like Gunna a little bit. I never heard no one say that. No, he definitely has a he definitely has a a similar flow. You never thought about that? I never seen. He give me a he give me a little tune. He give me a little tune in that in that in Did y'all record that together? Yeah, not together, but the same night. So I was I'm at the studio. I think I might have been playing cards downstairs, and then he came down and said, "Hey, I got one for you." Okay, but but I had to finish my car again. It was getting heated. Okay, but um, by the time I went up there, I think he left. So then I heard what he what he made, and then I just did mine right there. Now I don't know if you saw uh, King went he went viral on our show because uh, that's when uh, uh, K Dub and, and and Pops was. I, I was giving him a compliment about his teeth. I said, uh, "Hey King, <laughs> I'm going to go as real white King." I, oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, I appreciate. It. <laughs> <laughs> well, the two for the matter is. <laughs> Okay, tip, tip. All right, tip. Hey, man. <laughs> Jada ain't got over tooth pox, Shakur. Oh, my God. She was in there moving with Queen Latifah. <laughs> man, now y'all going too far. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Yo. Yo. Old, t old TD boy 2 chain. <laughs> King, my bad. My bad. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's all right. Now, yeah. uh, how is you and King's relationship? Same. Same man, it's um, it's my little big bro. Okay, <laughs> for sure. Standing on business, always for sure. Do, 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 when when things happen, do you do you call him? Cause you're big bro. Do you call him and calm him down? I think he all. I think every, oh, he time, every you? time something happens, I think he sits down and expects me to call. <laughs> he already know I'm finna call. So what'd you um, say to him this last time after the game? Just relax. I said this too shall pass. You know. <laughs> okay. So just just calm down. That's a real Ti answer. That is a this definite, too shall that, pass. Did, now is was that strategic to drop the song after the incident? 
Or was that already? I had nothing to do with that right there. Got it. Oh, okay. I had nothing to do with that. But um, I'm just glad it's 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 um it's out. For mm-hmm. sure. Okay. Okay. Because you know a lot of music stay in the hard drive and just on the flash drive or on a computer. So to see a moment like this actually get released, I love it. How'd your dad feel about the song? He loved the song. He loves the song for sure. Does he tell you when he doesn't like a song? Yeah, I haven't heard that um lately, but yeah, for sure. When I like like first started making music, he'd be like, "Yeah, just um just keep going." <laughs> <laughs> he hit you with the just keep going for sure. <laughs> just okay. keep going, man. <laughs> now y'all was really expressive in this in this uh the song that y'all just dropped. Um, do you ever feel pressure about? You know, uh, feeling like you have to portray yourself a certain way because of who your dad is? Pressure. Um, I don't think it's more so pressure right now. Maybe it could have been at the beginning. But um, when you just sit back and really understand what's going on and understand the position that you're in and accept the position that you're in, it's all easy for Mm -hmm. real. Because you see the bigger picture. You see it from a different perspective. For now, sure. the, now the way that y'all that y'all grew up, um, do y'all feel like y'all grew up like from the hood, uh, based on you know the living situations? Ooh, that like when you say y'all, you want me to speak for everyone? No, nah, you don't have to speak for everyone. I was just listening to the song, and um, it sounds like you know just just from hearing the song that you know uh, King feels a certain type of way of like okay, y'all think of of us pertaining to you and him a certain way because of the tv show but this is what's really was going on that you know that the public doesn't know i think king the way i think everything king is trying to say is just coming off um he's using the wrong words i feel like and i mm-hmm. told him this i feel like what he's trying to say is um the what was on tv is not exactly what actually happened and I think he's only trying to say that because people try to treat him differently mm-hmm. because they think that I don't think he's just out here um, just saying it out the blue mm-hmm. because it's some um, I think like we uh, we are living our own lives. He got his own thing going on. I don't know what be going on when he go outside or right. he was in school. We went to different schools. Um, he went to school by himself, actually. Um, so, yeah, that was another thing. Um so he's that that I just think he's using the wrong choice of words. Mm-hmm. I think he's just trying to say for the he went to school from his grandma house. He stayed at his grandma house. Like just to have a more realistic life versus just being some rich kid. I wanted to really experience life like everybody else. Right. I think just us as um in the black community, I feel like we just treat we treat um kids differently when their parents are successful so i think um right now we're just witnessing how a family deals with that mm. how a family deals with that backlash you know growing up in school mm-hmm. we all went to regular schools public schools also um another thing too is that i feel like a lot of people don't understand the fact that you know uh what king was saying is like hey man we didn't that TV show is portraying us to, to make it look like we all like one big happy family and we all live in this big no, house together. Oh, I mean, yeah, uh, I'm saying like in a sense of like, you know, the public, like everybody thinks that watch y'all grow up on TV is that y'all all just lived in this one big house together. That is how I did made, think that. That's how it I definitely that. seemed. No, nah, that's not the case, though. I think that is what he's trying to come across. Mm-hmm. He's definitely trying to get that across. But it's um. I don't even think people gonna understand it for real. Like I Yeah, because of the way that it was edited and shot, I thought you stayed there. I thought everyone stayed there. I thought there. everybody stayed there too. I'm not gonna lie. There. <laughs> but I understand though. I understand now looking back, I was like, oh, okay. But you know, as we, as you watching, this is I, damn bro, you you was like you were a kid. I remember. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, and I feel like I've known you forever, but I've only met you like three times. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like for real, for real. So yeah, I was just saying, yeah, it's just the way that they produced it, but it definitely looked like y'all all stayed in the ha- in the house and everyone was all the way happy, which For sure. I think in all families this that's never the case. Do you mm-hmm. run into that problem that what, King has? What problem? When people think that you come from this big life? I let people rock out un- unless it I feel like it's it's not healthy for them to think that then I'll help 
And you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I let people rock out. It's like sometimes they'll be like, Yeah, I seen your mom but I know they not talking about my real mom. Mm-hmm. Talking about um, Tiny. Tiny. Mm-hmm. I don't care to correct you. Um mm-hmm. I know what you meant. You know right. what I'm saying? So Understood. um they talk about, yeah, man, I see you, you stay in the house. Woo, woo. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I know, you know what I mean? like, so pretty you you just pretty much let people be dumb. <laughs> people go with people go with what they comfortable going with. For yeah. real. It's like um Yeah. It's it's like cause it's not like wrong. Like I was there. Mm-hmm. So it's like And Tiny uh, is your stepmom. Tiny is my stepmom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like I just don't So in theory, care. all right, I did see your mom. Right. I just don't care to actually Right, right, right. I'm not finna that's like trying to change someone's religion. And like yeah, yeah. in public though, understood. Walking and talking and trying to because it it'll be like, it'll kind of be like you're embarrassing them because of something that they right trying to correct them. Mm-hmm. I know what you meant, man. Yeah, for sure. How was having Tiny as a stepmom? Wonderful. Or she is was, I'm sorry, not was. Yeah, wonderful. <clears throat> she was always singing. You wake up in the morning and hear just uh just harmonies, melodies from downstairs. She walking through the house just singing. Um. And she, she seems super supportive. Yeah, with with everyone, mm-hmm. for sure. Both all parents, for real. But yeah, man, she's wonderful. Yeah. Um, going back, like when people think that you come from a certain background, you have people who try to leech on to you and try to take advantage of you. Mm-hmm. And um, in your your one of your projects, uh, amygdala, mm-hmm. um, from still got. Still got Still love. Got love. Yeah. When you were talking about someone stealing from you, was that a real experience? Yeah. Yes, it was. Um, for sure. That was, um, <clears throat> I ain't even never talked about that outside of the music. Um, it was like people like, it was like my day one people though. Mm-hmm. But for sure, you you get you get some of that. Can you expound on that experience um, and how what it taught you? You know, was it did it teach you not to be so carefree? Like what happened with that? It's a good question. I ain't really ever had the conversation with myself, so I would just be here just freestyling. <laughs> um, what did I take from it? Just to just to roll with the punches a little bit better, I think. Um, <clears throat> roll with the punches. We still cool. But it's just we not um, where we was, mm-hmm. for sure. Just rolling with the punches, not um, not getting not getting your hopes up about a lot of stuff and about people. Um, Did it help you that. choose your friends going forward more wiser, or is mm. no new friends with you or new friends? No, I'm a I'm a cool person. I'm a, I like learning from people, so mm. I sit in I'll sit and have a conversation with someone I, I'm a good uh, I'm a good uh, I got a good vibe detector so I got I can feel people vibes I know a lot of people say that but I, I really do okay but still got love for sure and my brother Messiah he actually produced that one hey. I was gonna ask okay. if he yeah. produced some of your projects yeah he produced that one okay he produced Family Connect the one with me and Pops mm-hmm. okay yeah fine what's it like working with your siblings in the studio Think it's like working with another dope artist, but just with um, with already a built down level of respect. I say that's that's that's. I what mean, it cause is. sometimes you know you can argue and fight with your siblings and mm-hmm. do it over. I don't want to do it, you know. Nah, I think we good at letting each other do our own thing, and then we take turns doing our own thing, come back in and add stuff, take away stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, I think we good at that. I don't. I don't know how we get we so good at that, but we let each other rock out. We let each other rock out, and um, we come together and oversee it from a bigger perspective. Mm-hmm. And we, you know, we we put something out. I love it. Again, like I like I told you when you walked up, I'm a fan. Before the ink dry, and is that available now? Yep. So it just be, came out. So it just dropped. How you feel? It's just more music, man. It's just more music. It's just more music. Uh, I love it. I love it. I love that. Um, Everything that I do has just been uh, in an upward trajectory. And mm-hmm. Just more people just um, getting getting to hear the dope music for real. So I love it. I love the process. I'm loving the journey. Okay. Do you like the grind? Do you like yeah, being do. independent and, and really having a grind? For sure. For sure. 
I think that's not, not even like independent. I just, I do like the grind though. Mm-hmm. Before you would get out of here, what are those uh, beads that you have on? My what are they? Yeah, what are those? I think they someone mean? gave me these. Uh, this tiger's eye, the brown one's tiger eye. I don't know what these red ones are. But people be giving me like crystals and, and bracelets and necklaces. Henny and crystals, that's because of Henny and crystals, and I just accept them. Okay. So sometimes I be wearing. Man, my mom gave me this uh, Thanksgiving. For Ooh. real? Yeah. See what I'm saying? Man, I love, I love mine at home, man. I'm oh, the only yeah, one with yeah. no nah. bead on. Man. I got the amethyst popping. I think I got the tiger. I got to say, I got that too. I got the amethyst yeah, popping. I love my beads at like home. The planets over there. Yeah. That's what it's supposed to look like. Mm-hmm. You got all the chakras. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, Damani, we appreciate you for joining us right here on the Ballroom yep. Show. Appreciate Before the end dries is out now, I uh, hope everybody goes and streams it. And um, do you have a tour coming up later for it? or Top of the year next year, we will be rolling out a lot of stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll be looking out, man. And I hope you come back. Yeah, you got to come back, man. Of course, of course. Yeah. Before we get out of here, though, we do have a pep talk with Damani. What's going down? This is Damani pep talk. Let me see. Uh... I ain't going to say nothing crazy. It's everything you heard before. You can do anything you put your mind to. I know everybody hate to hear that. But it's the real deal. Um, let me see. Don't let nobody just... It's the regular stuff, man. Just look up common quotes. and, and <laughs> Y'all be safe, man. You can do anything you put your mind to. Baller alert!